Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. Well, today I'm going to do the full in-depth review of what I consider the perfect quartz watch, which is a big claim really, because recently over the last year or two, I have been trying to buy some really nice quartz watches, and I've actually found some really nice quartz watches that I particularly like, but I think this one is better. But why do I think it's better? Well, firstly, what watch are we talking about? Well, of course, I'm talking about my Escapement Time Chronograph Quartz. A watch that both I like the looks of, I like the size of, I like the quality of, and I like the price of. And I think that is the big thing for me. And I understand that this is not a real thing. I understand thinking of price in regards to quartz has different sort of feelings depending on who you are and what you like. But for me, a quartz should be an affordable watch. I have nothing against high-end quartz watches. I think they're fantastic, but I know I wouldn't want to buy one. That's just my own personal sort of relationship with quartz watches. So for me, for this one to look so good, to work so well, to fit my wrist so well, and be super affordable, well then that ticks all the boxes for me, making it what I think is the perfect quartz watch. And what do I mean by affordable? Well, it's 120 Australian dollars, which is not the most affordable watch on the planet, but it's certainly at a good price range, especially when you consider the quality of this one. And guys, if you are interested in it, oh, I'm gonna leave one of those affiliate links. This is a watch that you buy from AliExpress. I'm an affiliate member with AliExpress. And if you click on that little link, it will take you straight to this watch. If you buy it, I'll earn a tiny little bit of commission. So thank you very much if you choose to do so. But let's flip the camera around now and let's check out this escapement time in a full in-depth review. So here we have my Escapement Time 6S21, 120 Australian dollars, sounds like a bargain to me. And on paper, there is a lot going on for this one. It has sapphire crystal, 50 meters of water resistance, BGW9 uh, loom, Miota 6S21 quartz movement, and it comes in a great set of dimensions as well. And since I'd owned that previous Escapement Time, I knew that the quality of this watch would be particularly good, and it has not disappointed me. And the dial is exactly what I hoped for and sort of expect from a Flieger chronograph. Matte black dial, everything printed on with loom as well. The 11175 also loomed. Got loomed hands. They're slightly blued hands. You don't really see it, obviously, but it doesn't really stand out too much. But there's a little bit of blue on the outside. Sub-secondary uh, second hand, as well as the timer, are subset down a little bit. Done in white as well, so they really contrast and stand out, and it really does look really, really good. And that classic Flieger is contained with some fantastic sort of dimensions as well. The case itself is 40.5 millimeters. The width of the watch is 11.5 millimeters. The lug to lug is a little bit longer than you'd probably expect, but because it curves down, it's actually really good. 49.3 millimeters. Lug width is 20 millimeters, and the weight on this supplied leather strap is 71 grams. So it has a little bit of weight to it, but not too much weight to it. That dial is covered by a piece of flat sapphire crystal. It's a really nice crystal as well, really easy to see through. I think there's a little bit of anti-reflective coating, sort of it makes it easy to sort of look through. You can see there, there's a bit of a glare happening, and it's still easy to see that dial. Now, everything on here, as I mentioned, is loomed. And let's check out the loom because the loom is actually particularly good. In fact, it's quite incredible. It really does blow my mind. For about $120, you can get a watch that looks this good, that has loom that great as well. Also, I forgot to mention, obviously, we've got the date window there at the six o'clock. It's not color matched, but I think it actually fits in really well, being white as with the rest of the dial there, and it does have a little surround around it. Now, the case itself, as well as that solid bezel, are all brushed. This is a sort of a tool style watch, so you can expect all brushing. The brushing is actually done really well. The bezel there is brushed really nicely. We've obviously got the pushes as well as that crown there. They're not signed, but they are all brushed as well. To utilize the pushes, we sort of use the top one to start the chronograph, top one to stop the chronograph, bottom one to reset the chronograph. And because it has that Miyota movement, we got that nice and gentle sweep back reset, which is nice. And the crown there is an onion crown, which is particularly nice. Obviously being a quartz watch, this pretty much is a set and forget watch. So you're only gonna be utilizing that occasionally. But I can say since owning this one, it has virtually gained no time whatsoever. So the module itself has been performing really well. And it has the exact same strap that my previous Flieger had, which is particularly good, a nice dark brown. It does start off feeling very, very stiff and very, very thick, but it does work in with time and a little bit of effort. And it does actually feel really nice on wrist. 
wrist. Certainly it is real leather there. Also comes with some really good hardware, bit of brushing, a little bit of a chamfered edge there, nice tang, good keepers, nice stitching, really adds to the effect of this one. And when we flip this watch over, firstly we see that big pop of orange. You can see there on the strap, you can see I've been wearing this one a lot. Really nice to have that little bit of pop of colour, not that you see it when you're wearing it, but it's still nice to have. On the case back there, there is some writing as well as that plane that has been etched in. That's only a very sort of light etching, like a laser etch, but it is very soft on the fingers there. There's no sort of sharp edges whatsoever. But written on there, we've got stainless steel, sapphire crystal, waterproof to 50 meters, made in China, pilot quartz, and escape in time. So we know that this has got 50 meters of water resistance and all those other things that I just mentioned. And with those dimensions and this nice leather strap, especially once it's worn in, it does sit really nicely. It's really a cool looking watch. I really like it. Probably one of the best watches at this sort of price range that I I've ever experienced even though it's non-mechanical and that's saying something for me because I do love my mechanical watches but this one I think it sort of gets a pass for me I think partially because of the looks partially because of the price and partially because of how well it sits and, and sort of performs on wrist and of course this is sitting on my six and three quarter or 17 centimeter wrist just for your reference just in case you want to know and as I said it is quite a long lug to lug but you can see it fits me perfectly fine I'm perfectly happy with that sort of lug to lug if however you had a much smaller wrist than mine Perhaps this one might be a little bit big for you. So what do I like about this one? What don't I like and what would I change? Well, there is a lot to like about this one for me. Firstly, the quality of it. When you look at the case, the brushing and how it's put together, really, really well done. The loom is fantastic, as you saw, actually quite amazing. I'm really, really impressed by that loom. Love that sweep back second hand. If I'm going to have a quartz chrono, I do prefer that rather than the snapback. It's a much nicer and fun thing to watch. The size of it is fantastic. I know that's slightly longer for some people, the lug to lug, but for me, it's perfectly fine. I like this sort of size watch, especially when a pilot sort of style. And the money, how can they produce a watch this good for that amount of money? I look at other quartz watches and I think, well, compared to this, they're not as good, but they cost a lot more. Yes, perhaps there's gonna be reasons for that, but personally, I think this hits the spot of perfect money as far as I'm concerned. What don't I like about it? Um. Um, I literally can't find anything that I dislike about this watch. Perhaps because it is a fairly simple watch, perhaps because it is well made, perhaps because it is well priced, perhaps because I just think it is a really, really good watch. Very rarely do I come across a watch where I can't be a little bit picky and pick something out that I dislike, but this one, there's nothing that I dislike. However, if I had the opportunity, there's probably a couple of things that I would change. You know, I'd love to see them do a mechanical version of it. Yes, that would probably change everything about the watch as well as the price, but hey, I love mechanical watches. But if they had a, a mechanical version of it, there's a good chance that I'd end up buying it. The case back as well, although I think it is perfectly fine, you know, I do like a nice 3D effect case back. So just being a very light 3D effect, well, it's fine, especially for the price, but I'd love to see that to be more 3D. So as you can see, quite a few positive things to say about this one. But let's flip back to me now and give you some of my final thoughts. So it's very rarely that I come across a watch where I can't pick out something specifically that I don't like. This is a watch that I can't find anything specifically wrong with it. There's nothing I dislike about it. Does it make it the best watch on the planet? Should it be everybody's grail watch? Well, no, of course it shouldn't. It is an affordable quartz watch. But it is a very, very good affordable quartz watch. And I particularly like it. Yes, I do like pilot watches. Yes, I do like watches in this sort of size range. Yes, I do like watches that are finished at this sort of quality. And yes, I do like this all packaged within this sort of affordable price. So for me, it is my perfect quartz watch. And it is a watch that I've really been enjoying wearing. So guys, I really do appreciate that. I'd really love to hear your comments about this one. It has sold fairly well already. If you own one, let me know your own personal experiences with it. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I do hope to see you in the next video.